G'day, I'm Paul. Kia has a brand new infotainment system. Today I'm going to take you through a detailed review of the new 10.25 inch infotainment unit from Kia, plus some of the features that are built into it. Now, if you haven't done so yet, have a look at the rest of our channel. We've got stacks of car reviews and a lot of other fun content as well. But let's get started on our infotainment review. Let's have a look at how all this works. So this is your default screen. You have three pillars, navigation, radio, and then trip information. You can customize this display and then you can swipe across to get to the rest of those menu functions. In the top left hand corner, you have the ability to set different profiles. So if you share the car with someone else, you can have different settings for the screen and for a feature that I will show you in just a second. But let's start off with navigation. So the map here is nice and fast. Seems like the processor behind this really has some grunt to it because every time you click on something and do something, it is always ready to respond. Let's do our navigation test. I'll try typing in Melbourne Airport here. We'll see how quickly it finds it. Mel oh, I need to learn how to spell. Let's try that again. M E L. Oh, there it is right there. So it's immediately coming up with these points of interest as I start typing. So big tick there for navigation. In terms of radio, you have AM, FM, DAB plus digital radio built into it. You also have USB connectivity. On USB connectivity, you have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Both of those systems are wired, so it's not a wireless system. But I'll show you what that looks like just up in the corner here if I click on it, Apple CarPlay. So it takes up the whole screen as well, which is pretty impressive. Now this is the cool bit that I like about this car, the sound mood lamp. So in the GT line, you can set it up to party time. So when you find yourself a great beat, such as Darude Sandstorm, the lights inside the car start dancing with the beat. So it is a really cool setup. And I think for the target demographic of this car, it's really going to suit. But if that's all sort of too fast and disco techy for you, you can just go down the path of romance or midnight city, whatever that all means. But all of the ambient lighting in this car really brings it into the future age. Now, what else can you do here? So Bluetooth phone menu, unfortunately, that button does nothing as usual in a Hyundai and a Kia for Australian cars, unless you have smartphone mirroring enabled, the voice recognition function does absolutely nothing. You have driving information, only displays when the car is running. Let me switch it on so you can see what that looks like. So this shows you your previous driving history. You can reset it, also update it as you go. It tells you how much time the car has spent idle as well. All kind of pointless information if you ask me. You have a button here for the manual. All you do is take a photo of that with your phone. And then what it does is it allows you to get access to that manual online. So you can see it there, open up kia.com. So a smart way of doing it. They used to integrate all of this into the screen, but this is a quick and easy way to do it. And they can also update manuals on their own server as functions get updated. What about the other features here? This is one of my other favorites, voice memo. You know, if you're out on the road and you come up with a great idea, why not record it? And it has the function built into here. I think this is an undervalued feature because the amount of times I've been out on the road and just had this brainwave of an idea about something we can go and film, you forget it by the time you're done. So this is a cool feature. And then to round it off, you have settings for the car in here. And this is where you can change everything from what's displayed ahead of the driver through to the display on the screen here and the themes that are shown as well. So big tick of approval for this new infotainment system from Kia. If you did enjoy that infotainment review, I'd love it if you could hit the like button, follow it up with subscribe and also press the bell icon so you can find out every single time we publish something new. And don't forget to check out the rest of our channel where we have a stack of really good content. But until next time, take it easy.